This next example is to find the response of a triangular pulse force. It means that we have a triangular ramp, but it ends at capital T. This is also a piecewise function where we have zero before T equals zero, we have a ramp between zero and capital T, and then the function becomes zero again. If we apply the convolution integral, we will have to have a function that we integrate by pieces. In this first part, we will find the response from zero to any time before capital T. Therefore, our limits of integration will be zero to a generic T. And this response will be valid only for time less than capital T. If we integrate by parts, we name u, for example, tau, and we name dv, our function sine of omega t, t minus tau, and then we applied our integration by part rules, where we find du and dv, and we integrate dv to find v. We plug in these values in our equation, and we get this term right here first. We evaluate it between 0 and t, and then we get this other integral. When we evaluate this between 0 and t, it gives us t minus t, that gives us 1, and when we integrate cosine, give me sine, and this negative comes from my internal derivative. I evaluate between 0 and t, and I get the first term is sine of omega t minus t. This is 0, therefore this term is 0, and I get only sine of t. And as you recall, this is the solution for a ramp. So before capital T, the system response as is was a regular ramp applied to the system. Now for times greater than capital T, the run already happened. We have a response to that perturbation, but we don't have a function. So we have to divide our integral between zero and capital T, where we have the ramp, and then from capital T to a generic time, where our function is equal to zero. Similarly, as we did before, we applied integrating by parts, and we substitute our terms u and v in our integral, and then what is different from these elements from the previous slides is my limits of integration. Here I have zero and capital T. Therefore, when I apply my limits of integration, get capital T here, and I get T minus capital T, and I integrate the cosine against sine, and also the limits of integration are different. When I apply all the limits of integration, I get this expression right here, which is not exactly the response of a ramp. It's just the effect of having had a triangular pulse that disappeared after capital T.